people will react to you much more intense than you thought. When you're being totally yourself, you will get the total back. I don't care if that's total and lashing out at you, or total and backing off, or total and showing you love, whatever it may be, you will get it totally back from the world. That's the beauty in living fully, and in living intensely, and in living totally. Welcome to um, a very insightful video that's going to give you the chance to live more fully. If there's one thing that I've come to understand is that life is intense. Every single moment is the intensity of something. An intensity of silence, an intensity of joy, an intensity of sadness, an intensity of neutrality. Every moment is intense. It's just, are you settling into the intensity that every moment has to offer? All of this came about when I was looking at, why do I feel so afraid to live life totally? Because interchangeable, interchangeable words are totally and intensely. These are two interchangeable words. If you're living intensely, you're living totally. If you're living totally, you're living intensely. I used to say to myself, why is it that I'm so afraid to live totally? When it comes to expressing myself, why am I so afraid to express myself to the extent that I want to at times? I would notice when I'm in front of someone I would want to say something, express something, but then I would feel this feeling of uncomfortableness from nowhere. Parts of my body would start to feel like it's closing down, it would start to feel like I'm energetically blocked. Specifically in my chest, in my stomach, and in my throat. I used to feel very, very blocked, like there was a heaviness there. And every single time it would control me. And in looking at it, I just wanted to just see what is the issue? I have no clue. I know that I can do something and say something, but I'm afraid to totally do it. What is the issue? That also brings me to a student who I had recently who was dealing with the same thing that I used to deal with. He wanted to know why is it that he can be loving, be sweet, but it's very hard for him to express the intensity of it. It's very hard for him to really be total when he's doing something. Because in the moment he feels like others are judging him. And me knowing exactly what that's like, I let him keep on with his story because I knew it was completely in alignment with the way I used to feel. When it came to expressing the side of himself that's not sweet, he felt like he shouldn't show it. And if he showed it in intensity, he felt like it wasn't him. Same way that I used to feel that I'm a sweet person, I'm a good person, I'm wonderful, expressing anything to the, its intensity, anger, outrage, doesn't matter. 
that I wouldn't be viewed as what I viewed myself because I held myself highly for that. And him, he held, his, he held himself highly for being someone who cares. I knew exactly what drills to take him into because I took myself to the same extremes. Expressing yourself totally and intensely, same thing. It's very difficult. My track was learning what that actually meant. It meant sometimes expressing something very loudly was the only way that it can not have any baggage left over. Sometimes expressing something just with my eyes was more important than trying to verbalize something. Even if it felt the expression from my eyes would have came across weird to someone, this is the only way I can clearly, directly, and truthfully express myself. And totally. That track of understanding that started to let me see that life is intense every single moment. As I'm here with you right now, this is a moment that me and you are together. I'm totally here with you. That's why you can feel exactly what I'm saying. But if I was here with you and simultaneously here with someone else, you would only feel half of the intensity that's coming from my heart. But because I'm totally here with you, and I want to be totally here with you. I've decided to be totally here with you. It's the reason why you can feel word after word. It's so easy to back off from life. So easy to back off from expressing yourself because what's the connection between the two? backing off from life and backing off from expressing, your, expressing yourself is that there is no difference between the two. They actually are merged. So to the, the intensity that you want to feel life will be to the, extens to the intensity, sorry, that you will express yourself totally. It's the same thing. I started to see that when I wanted to receive what life gave me, both sides, not just the sides that I would call pleasurable, but the sides I would call unpleasant, I started to notice that I was able to receive the both sides of me, the sides of me that I felt that were pleasant and unpleasant. And from that, I was able to express that. The moment I started to remove my focus on how others perceive me. I started to notice that I, have, I had more energy to express whatever I wanted to express. It all goes together. So if I can give you one truth about this, it is, if you're willing to accept life and settle into each moment totally, you'll be able to express yourself totally. This is the truth that if you allow yourself to really sit on and meditate with and see in yourself and see in relation to the situations in life that you backed off from, you'll start to route to your own freedom. I want to bring you into some moments in my life where I felt really, really intensity of feeling. Like I have to allow myself to feel the intensity that this moment is so I can be able to free myself. The moment that strongly pops up is I had a talk at the conference last year that was run by the company that I used to be with. 
And in this talk, it was a time where I decided that I want to start expressing myself in the way that I want to. Even if that means I lose, I lose my friends, I, I lose my family, I lose my lover, it doesn't matter who. I'm willing to so I can express myself. They called my name to come on stage and everybody was clapping really loudly. And they were doing, as they were doing this, I knew I had the choice to live this moment intensely because I was feeling uncomfortable on the inside. I didn't look that, but I was feeling uncomfortable. For an hour straight, standing on stage talking to a hundred guys. But every single moment I decided to stay in the intensity of my own discomfort because I knew that I was finally expressing the thing that I wanted to express, expressing myself in a way I wanted to express myself. And I knew that it could not resonate with some people in the crowd and some people it could resonate with. I knew that because that's the choice that's made actually in that moment is that when, you, when I say to myself that I want to start expressing what I really want to express, I immediately pull in both sides from people. I pull in people who don't want to li listen to what I say, because remember, they're in the crowd. They, had no, they didn't want to leave and they have the choice to resonate with me or not. So I pull in the part of them that either wants to change and, be, and learn from what I'm saying, or I pull in the part of them that doesn't want to. And I knew that. I knew that I'm actually expressing this and this is the way that I actually am. And that it could come across like this or like this, but I'm okay with both. That was the intensity that I was sitting in. I started to receive life from both sides because I wasn't afraid of both sides of myself being in conflict. I wasn't afraid of that. And after that hour, I remember just feeling tired. Just drained, really. Because I knew I expressed myself in the way that I wanted to, but I knew I was also emotionally stressed. I bring you into another moment. <coughs> The way that I wanted to do the talk, because it all was happening at this time, <clears throat> the way I wanted to do the talk is that I wanted to do it in a way where I could just freely do it, freely express it. And I knew it was gonna be different than everybody around me, but I still wanted to do it. And I expressed that. And I knew in the moment I expressed it, I could get adverse reactions to it. And I did. I got adverse reactions to it. These are two intense moments, but there's been so many moments along the way for me to live this moment totally and intensely. So many moments with the woman that I am in love with right now. There's been so many moments where I have the choice to live totally and intensely or to back off. Even if I knew I was going to hurt her, I still did it. With my family, them asking me for money. I knew I had the choice to live totally and intensely and in what it is I wanted to express, which is no, I'm not gonna give you money this time. Because I used to be so bent on giving the money and when I said to myself, I'm not gonna do it just for the fact of obligation, that's when I start to live totally intensely because the moment I start to make choices, that's when I live totally and intensely. And I did it. And I felt uncomfortable because I wasn't used to saying that to my brother. 
And for some time, I felt like he felt like I didn't care because he was in a hard situation. But I knew that if I would have said it, I would have been backing off again. It's difficult. It's not just the cakewalk. It's not like you make the choice, I want to do this, I want to live this moment totally, and then you do it every single moment. No. There will be moments where you back off, and then you get frustrated. There'll be moments where you do it, and then you feel really good. Moments where you back off, and then you feel frustrated. That's the route of living totally and intensely, is that it takes strength to maintain that. It's not like you make the choice and then you have the strength, no. It takes strength to live this moment fully and then we'll live the next moment fully. That takes strength. So I tell you that if you are going to choose to do that, you're gonna also choose that you're going to be light on yourself. That you're not gonna expect perfection like I used to do. I used to expect myself, just because I made the choice, for me to every single time do it right. For me to every single time be full. To be totally expressed. Then I went, this is not realistic. I'm gonna have moments of lapse simply because it's the progress of growing. I don't need to have this right now. I don't need to have it right now so I can feel like I'm away from my pain because that's what I wanted. I wanted to be away from my pain. The only thing that I went with was, okay, I'm just gonna have to understand that this is a progression. And I want you to understand this. It is a progression. Want to live totally. Want to live life to the fullest. Want to. It is a choice. Want to do it. You have the choice every single moment to. And when you choose to do it, you're going to start to see that life unfolds in a very different way. People will react to you much more intense than you thought. When you're being totally yourself, you will get the total back. I don't care if that's total and lashing out at you, or total and backing off, or total and showing you love, whatever it may be, you will get it totally back from the world. That's the beauty in living fully, and in living intensely, and in living totally. You tuned in for me for 20 minutes, and I hope at least something in here gave you the chance to make the choice for yourself, that you're gonna start the path of understanding what it means to settle into the intensity that life is moment to moment. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching still available. That's one spot in Europe and three spots in the USA and in Canada. So all together for the rest of the year I have four spots left. If you feel like you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, you want to learn more about yourself or in relation to women, this is for you. Go to theessenceofmen.com. I'll put it down in the description box. And also, it's up in the YouTube thumbnail. Subscribe and share this with anybody who you feel will resonate with this and can understand it. It's more important to be that which you are than to try to become that which you want. So never try. Simply be. 
I'll talk to you tomorrow.